Here's a fun psychedelic liquid background you can make right now in After Effects. Start by making a solid. The color doesn't really matter too much. Make a duplicate of it with Command or Control D and hide the original. And now we're going to add some effects to the copy. Go to Effect, Simulation, CC Mr. Mercury. And Mr. Mercury is just a guy that likes to convert whatever he's placed in into a flowing liquid. To get that liquid where we want it though, set both the X and Y radius to 100. Set the birth rate to 20, the gravity to 0, and both the birth rate and the death rate to 0.3. Now we've got the fluid look, but to get the rainbow coloring, we have to do a few things. The first is to go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. Set the contrast to 200 and then hold Alt or Option and click the stopwatch that says Evolution. That's going to bring up this expression window. In the window, type Time, Asterisk, 200. Click out of it and then go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint. Click on the Map to White box and set it to the reddest red you can get. All of your values should be in red and none should be in green or blue. Now set the blending mode of that layer to Add. This all may seem kind of convoluted. Obviously, we don't want to make everything red, but digital coloring is just a mix of three colors, red, green, and blue. And we want each of those to have their own layer just so we can get that rainbow look. So now we're going to add some green and blue. All you have to do is duplicate the layer and change the tent color to the greenest green you can get, and then repeat one more time with the bluest blue. And as you can see, now we've got a nice, beautiful gray. Well, that isn't right. That's because despite each layer being a different color, when they overlap evenly over one another, they make gray. To fix that, all you need to do is go back into Fractal Noise, open up Evolution Options, and change the random seed to literally anything that isn't zero. Do this with two of the three layers. It doesn't matter which ones, so long as they're all different. If you don't like this black background, revealing the original will get rid of it, but it will also give the whole effect the hue of whatever color you chose. If you'd like to change that color, I like to go to Effect, Generate, Fill. With this, you can change the color to whatever you want, and you can even animate it. To change color over time if you'd like, I'd recommend going with colors in your midtones to make it look best, but the choice is up to you. At this point, I also like to highlight all three of them and then move them forward on the timeline a little bit just so we don't have that initial startup for Mr. Mercury. Now let's wrap up by adding some texture and distortion. First, right click and make an adjustment layer. With it selected, go to Effect, Generate, Cell Pattern. Set the cell pattern to plates and the size to 24. Keyframe offset at the beginning of the timeline. Go to the end of the timeline and drag out the X axis just so we get some movement going. Now Alt click the evolution stopwatch and type time asterisk 100. Then set the blending mode to overlay. And the last thing is the easiest. Make one more adjustment layer and to that we're adding two effects. The first is distort CC lens. Drag out the size until it's just out of your comp. For me, it's 200. The second effect is actually completely optional. It's just hue and saturation, which you can find in color correction. This effect just gives you a greater level of control over the colors. You can change it to basically whatever you want, and even if you didn't want to mess with the hue part, lowering the saturation can help it not look so sickening if the color you choose is a bit overbearing. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to make a psychedelic liquid effect in After Effects. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.